Hey guys, Chris again from uh, ClassicVWBugs.com uh, and I got another tip for you today. Uh, if anybody's doing early beetles like I usually do, um, I want to talk to you about when it comes to putting in the window scrapers. Um, I'm probably going to make a DVD of uh, just the whole interior and exterior restoration, but for now here's a short tip for you. Um, the interior inside rubber scraper that goes for the window here. Um, it kind of looks like this when you buy it. It's kind of flimsy and it's got a wire through it that, that, that weaves through uh, the holes to, to pop it into the, uh, the, the door. Uh, what I've noticed is when you buy these new ones, they look alright, okay, of course, but the wire that they have actually going through the rubber is kind of, they don't form it correctly to fit into the holes that have to snap into the door. And the problem I've noticed is when you try to put them in, oh my god, there are days where I was kicking, swearing, everything because these things would just not go in the hole. So my recommendation for you is take the new wire out okay and before you gut your car like what I usually do before I get my cars painted I gut them I take all the seals off everything save the old wire like this that came out of the old seal and you're gonna to want to reuse that for this rubber so uh, for the new rubber so that's a little tip right there uh, and it'll save you a lot of headache um, it just it's unbelievable sometimes how, how hard it was. I was crimping the wire, I was getting pliers and, and trying to shape them and form them. It just made matters worse and I wound up scratching the car and that's a whole other ordeal right there. But um, So when you get new rubber seals, win inside window scrapers for your door, make sure you take the save the old wire, clean it off, it might be a little rusty, and then when you get the new scraper, take the new wire out and put the old wire through the new rubber and uh, that'll save you a lot of headache. Um, that's, that's it for today, and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me, chris at classicvwbugs.com. I'll see you then.